Hi guys and welcome to probably what is going to be the largest shit show I've ever run on YouTube. Uh, this is going to be stupid. It's probably going to be more stupid than the uh, haul to Volumuki. More stupid than the uh, first bridge we did. And more stupid than um, going all the way on Dalton Elliott Highway. Because we're going to haul 260 tons of trailer, the game isn't really made for it, the roads aren't, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be um, absolutely horrible. Um, so I really look forward to doing this. Thank you so much for being here guys, and um, let, let's, let's take a look at the map first. We are going to haul from Truckee today. Um, I didn't spend a lot of time wandering on where, why and how. I just found a route and I went with it. So, uh, <laughs> that's Bengen's message for you and I approve, I approve. <laughs> We're going to do 641 miles today and I think that's all we will have time for today. Uh, going up to Pendleton. And of course, as always, the um, maybe we won't have to teleport. <laughs> we probably will. <laughs> By the way, this is the truck we're going to use. This is the truck we're going to use. And I know it is not the Mac Titan or any other Mac, which I kind of wanted to do. The problem is not that the Mack trucks doesn't have enough power, because they do. The problem is they don't have the grip I need. So I figured let's do this one, because I haven't hauled in this thing for a very, very long time. And it is a 8x8, so it has the grip. And yeah, it has a thousand horsepower. Because it does, but in my defense, it only has a six-speed transmission. And honest to God, I don't need a thousand horsepower. If this one was available with, say, 700 horsepower, I'll take that instead. I don't need more than 700, but I do need the grip. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's what we're going to do. And initially, we were going to start in... Here at Plasters and Sons, um, which isn't actually possible, so I teleported out so that we can start here instead. Uh, I am using a uh, no damage mod. If I didn't, we would already have at least 50% damage just because the trailer spawned in Plasters and Sons. So I am using a no uh, damage mod. But other than that, I am i don't think that I'm cheating at all there. Even though I feel a little bad about this truck having a thousand horsepower. Thank you, Sir Kells Gaming. I really appreciate that. Uh, let's start her up and listen to her, what she sounds like. So let me know if the sound is okay. Is the uh, truck too loud? Or am I perhaps uh, too loud? Let me know in the comments. Uh, we have 260 tons behind us. I guess most of you already knew that. Uh, there's a link to both this truck and the Mack truck I was going to use. Which was a 6x4 by the way. Couldn't make it up the hills. Uh, and um, 260 tons and it's about, I don't know, 100 meters in length. The Hem TT isn't small either, so uh, <laughs> it's pretty long, this thing. Uh, the uh, HUD thing there is Sizzle's mod based on um, Hamill's. Um, Whatever it's called, we talked about this the last time as well, and I forgot to put up a link to it. 
I'm pretty sure Bengan has a link to it. So if you could be so kind, Bengan, perhaps you have a link to it that you could um, give the guys. In any case, it's time to get started. And um, again, this thing only has a six speed. Oh, let's stop already. That is a problem I've been having from time to time with this thing. It sounds like I'm crashing into something, but seriously, I'm not. Uh, really annoying. And the mirror there. Oh God, thank you, Sir Kels Gaming. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, so very kind of you. Uh, the interior mirror there doesn't work. Well, maybe it works right now, but it's probably gonna stop working very soon. Uh, this, I'm not crashing. There we go, it stopped working for a bit. You wanna wait for me? Thank you. I'm not gonna go faster than um, uh, the. Uh, I'm not gonna go faster than 50 kilometers an hour. By the way, and the reason for that is that I'm using my. Um, oh, right now I can't add it. Seriously, what is that crashing? I think it is a conflict between the trailer and the and the mod. It worked beautifully, more or less, before we started, of course, as it always does. And now I'm stuck already. It always starts this beautiful. Oh, there we go. That's the reason why. Hang on. Come on, truck. <laughs> Let's see if that fixes it. I don't think it does in this case. We really got off to a horrible start. I say we start over. I say we start over. I'm gonna not talk uh, while we get out of here. And then I'm gonna start talking once we got around the first bend. There we go. Let's, let's get moving. Well, if you've seen my um, streams before, this is not the first time that happens. It's probably because I'm a little bit nervous in the beginning. Really don't want to mess things up in the beginning. And then I mess things up. Uh, traffic, by the way, is set to 3. Hi Perid, welcome. And Warren is here. Um, let's talk a little bit about the last couple of days of um, map combos. Uh, I don't know what you guys think, but I think, seriously, uh, start paying attention to what I'm saying in the videos. I'm just saying. I've had ton of support cases uh, over the last few days. Seriously? I'm not even close to anything. Oh! Oh, that is a problem. Look at the wheels there on the back of the trailer. That is a problem. I didn't foresee that. 
that is probably a bug on the map because uh, it's not that steep and I've gone over much steeper um, slopes than that one um, okay I'm gonna fix that one last time you know all good things are three as we say here in Sweden so I'm just gonna floor it around there this time <laughs> so get out of my way so I think what happens as we go down here now um, probably the back end of the trailer again getting stuck in some way flooring it there we go fantastic we're on our way and I'm not gonna drop the differential this time because I'm gonna need it in so many places so I'm just gonna stay below 50 kilometers an hour the entire way thankfully this trailer mod um, doesn't get stuck well in this case it actually didn't get stuck anyway wow that's a tight fit um, but it wouldn't have gotten stuck anyway the uh, upper half of the trailer is just there for the looks and I know I should be in the other lane but I need space I am by the way using the Sierra Nevada mod and the base map that's it uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I really enjoy hauling on Sierra Nevada and this is Sierra Nevada and I wanted to show you some more of that map mod. Hang on, I just gotta get up here. Oh, this is a beauty, isn't it? What a great combo! <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun uh, offline with this thing. Not the uh, uh, Oshkosh truck, but the trailer. It's a lot of fun hauling this thing. Especially in cities. And I'm gonna slow down a bit. Uh, really don't wanna. God, that's so annoying. Really need a differential in so many places, so I prefer staying below 50 kilometers an hour than to switch it off. Yeah, Mercedes trucks in the US, but. Uh, I think he has some T800s, uh, Ben F. Handy, uh, that he is adding to the next update of this mod. For now we only have the Mercedes trucks, both on the ATS and ETS2 versions. But he's adding um, T800s to this one uh, for ATS uh, in the next version. Uh, no, I haven't tried G Camera Block Zero or One on One Thirty Seven. I barely had time to play on on uh, One Thirty Seven before I had to downgrade to uh, One Thirty Six because I needed to. I uh, can't really remember what. Oh yeah, that's right. We were going on Dalton. I had to downgrade for Dalton. So even though Dalton Elliott Highway works kinda on One Thirty Six Seven. Uh, 
there were some crashes, so I decided to downgrade. Haven't upgraded again since. Uh, I have hauled on the entire Most Boring Road version 1 and version 2 on ETS2. However, you can't see that on uh, any of my two profiles uh, because I have 78 profiles. <laughs> it's true, I have 78 profiles. Uh, so I have done the entire thing on a different um, um, profile. But I've done the entire thing and it is a beautiful uh, new version, the Coxus version. Uh, even more beautiful and relaxing than the old version was. So it's a lot of fun hauling there, even though there isn't any cities or anything like that. There are villages, a ton of them, but... That's right, Trucker, I was talking about my new map combos. So I've had a lot of people talking about a lot of problems with them. And it seems like all of those problems, or most of them at least, are related to Ross map fix 3 and Peter 2.1. Um, it doesn't work with Peter 2.1 and it does require Rust Map Fix 3. Uh, Warren and I have been talking a little bit about this because it seems like the official Rust Map Fix 3 has some issues that cause crashes, which is very strange. But uh, Warren is brilliant at. Um, Oh, uh, testing map combos and according to him there is a problem with uh, rust map fix 3 I don't have those problems and I did use the original link um, but I didn't save the original link so when I've extracted the link that is found on the same official page today that might be a different link than the one that I used from the same page earlier. Um, but there seems to be a problem there. We're still investigating. But what we do know for sure is that Peter 2.0 won't work. You do need Peter 2.1. And there is a link to it in the video description, of course. Well, Fennec, if you had problems with the loading times, it's probably because you also... Wow! Also used additional mods. Uh, that's an accident. <laughs> How the hell did that happen? Let's see if we can get out of here. I doubt it. This is getting worse and worse, but for the wrong reasons. Ah, oh, we're gonna solve it. How difficult could it possibly be? These things happen to everyone. Or not. Are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> no, I didn't push it into the wall. Go back, take a look at the video. <laughs> I hit something. Uh, I think there was a something in the uh, concrete on the road, something like that. Um. <laughs> oh, 
Well, I'm glad your uh, suffering in makes you happy. <laughs> Hi, Division Hunter. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We can do this. Almost there. I hope. Yes! Just one more. And we should be good to go. There we go. Yay. Let's see. Piece of cake. <laughs> See, there's something. I wasn't hitting anything. There's something in the concrete. Probably gonna happen again here. Like now. Or not. I just have to go below 30, I guess. Let's hope that's it. No more problems like that. Thank you, Andy. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. If you haven't tried this trailer out yourself, you gotta try it. It's a ton of fun. And it's, it's actually... <laughs> even though I've been having a ton of problems already... It's a lot easier to do this on ATS. No big surprise there, really. Uh, the roads here are better suited for, for this thing. I swear to God, I'm not hitting anything. We have plenty of space around us. And I think I can prove it by doing doing this. Let's see now if we encounter the same problem again. You should all be able to see that we're not actually hitting anything. See, we are in the clear. Good for you, Perry. You saw a train. <laughs> See? Ha! There's your proof. We didn't hit anything. It's... I think it's a conflict with the um, Oshkosh, actually. Uh, because I haven't seen this with any other truck mods possibly because of the um, of the large wheels we have on the Oshkosh could be that yeah probably I'm, I'm just guessing here but I'm I'm pretty sure it's it's has something to do with the uh, Oh, attachment between the trailer and truck probably caused by the um, large wheels on the truck welcome Thomas oh that didn't work Mm. 
This is Sierra Nevada, by the way. I really look forward to this becoming available for free. It currently costs eight euros. Um, and if you can afford it, I highly recommend you buy it. Uh, it's just beautiful. Very, very nice. Hi, Olaf. Welcome. We're holding on ATS on the Sierra Nevada mod. Let's, let's take a look at the map, see where we are. So we have between Truckee and Reno currently. As you can see, all of this is Sierra Nevada. You recognize these roads from, um, from Mexico, right? Because this is made by the same guys who also makes the um, Mexican map, Viva Mexico. How do you like my um, field of view, Bengal? Do you approve? This is on... Uh, I'm using 136, but... <coughs> but um, Sierra Nevada do work on 137. Sorry, Mexico Extremo. Of course. And the roads uh, remind you of Mexico Extremo, not Viva Mexico either. So, yeah. Mexico Extremo. Uh, it's set to, I think it's set to 55 in this truck. If I go any further, I'll be, be sitting almost like I'm gonna sit here which is absolutely stupid um, so um, 54 I'm trying to get used to um, getting closer to the windshield So we have another 550 miles to go. We should be there in three hours, perhaps. Could be me just wishful thinking, but I think we can make it in three hours. How was the time, by the way? We started at 5 p.m. CET today. And, um... Oh, there we go again! <laughs> I was prepared this time. <laughs> There's probably another one coming up here. Probably gonna have the same problem again here. So just to prove it, we're not hitting anything. Yeah. Yeah. But we're good. Uh, so we started an hour earlier than I usually do. We started at 5 p.m. CET instead of 6 p.m. CET, and I hope that works for you. Uh, Namaste, Abhishek, and welcome. It's a bit early, Olaf says. Well, I can agree on that. Uh, the reason I did it was that I kind of hope I get a couple of hours tonight after this stream uh, that I can spend with my oldest daughter on the phone. Um, as many of you know, she know she is in. Um, she's an exchange student in the United States right now, and um, we've actually decided yesterday to pull the plug. She's coming home uh, early. Um, we don't want to risk her getting stuck in the United States in um, six weeks when she was originally scheduled to come home. So. Uh, it's been a busy weekend <laughs> and despite that I actually got the map combos out uh, but it's been a busy busy weekend deciding on whether she should come home or not oh again 
Welcome, fired trucker. <laughs> well, <laughs> though I made um, uh, Ben F. Handy do have more trailers in the works. He's working on more trailers, so expect even more bonkers things than this one. In the um, oh, it's just Fred. <laughs> I don't cause. Yeah, all the schools are uh, closing. All major events are closing. What's worse for us is that looks like all the airports are going to close as well. Not only in the US, but here in Europe as well. So, um... <laughs> of course you do, Olaf. I work from home as well. Uh, but the great thing about working from home is that while well, I go up starts brewing some coffee and immediately start working so I start working three hours earlier than I normally do so I get off three hours earlier than I normally do as well which is why I decided I'm gonna start an hour early on the stream as well yeah yeah I'm guessing all countries are gonna close their borders Norway has closed theirs um, I think Denmark has closed their borders as well. Yeah. Germany closed their schools. Uh, it's just a matter of time before they close the schools here in Sweden as well. And to, com to be completely honest, I don't think that this thing is going to go away in a month or two. I think we're going to be stuck with it for, for much longer than that. So, uh, well, uh, there we go again. And another one here. Yeah. Wow, that's just... Um, you can still get in and out of US. But it's just a matter of time before they completely close the airports as well. So hopefully my daughter will be home by the end of the week. Oh, you started 10. <laughs> and I, now... No, that one is good. Next then. That's good. Next. Good. We're good on that one as well. And that one. Yeah, so we noticed Warren. Uh, it's very different from state to state, which is crazy. I mean, you have the same problems they had in Spain, where they did something in the, uh, I think it was in Barcelona, they closed everything. So everyone went to the beaches instead. So they had to close down the beaches. And uh, you're gonna see something similar in the States where they close things down in one state and people then go on vacation in other states instead. You gotta close everything, I think. Hi Daniel, welcome. Uh, Lamb, there is traveling from Europe uh, to US and vice versa. Uh, why uh, UK? I know they're closing the borders to UK as well. Uh, ah! But it's still possible to uh, to get out. They haven't closed the airports yet, and they haven't closed the um, airports for um, Asian and Middle East traffic either. So 
possibly my daughter will have to go to, I don't know, Doha, and then take a flight from Doha to, to Stockholm. Uh, but it is possible to get out still. Oh yeah, people are hoarding here as well, especially toilet paper. Um, I bought a one family pack of toilet paper, which is 16 rolls of toilet paper. And serious, seriously, that's all the toilet paper I could ever need for at least a couple of weeks. I, I can't, I have no idea what kind of diarrheas, diarrheas people have, but I mean, people seem to be piling up toilet paper at home for some mysterious reason. Yeah, and vaccines is at least a year, a year and a half away, so um, yeah. We're probably stuck with this thing for a very long time. But we've we've survived worse. World War One, World War Two. So we're gonna survive this as well. <laughs> Through that darkness, Eagle. <laughs> So, oh, that's 125 days of toilet paper there, Olaf. You can't use... It's not even... Even for a family, it's not possible to use an entire roll per day. That's just insane. There's something very, very wrong with people. So, I just wish people could stop hoarding. I will admit that I usually buy 8 rolls of toilet paper, this time I bought 16. But that's the only thing I've changed, and the only reason I did it was that I wasn't sure when I was going to get my hands on toilet paper again. I was to the store the other day, they, were, they had none. Ugh. And here's another one. Oh, Jesus. Don't don't let that bug frighten you because it's probably the combo of the truck and trailer. I haven't seen this problem with this trailer using any other trucks. So it's um No, Romania does not have 158 cases. They have tested positive. 158 cases here in Sweden. We I think we have some 500 cases tested positive thing is we don't test people anymore and in most countries I don't think they test people anymore. They've given up on that. They're only testing if people are seriously ill So I think we I think here in Sweden. We probably have like at least five or six thousand cases, but they have only reported six seven eight hundred so far so I don't I don't care about the numbers anymore. They doesn't they don't say anything anymore. Uh, because not e bec since everyone isn't going to be tested anyway. So. <laughs> Your friend is making big money right now, Olaf. You have it, Thanos. I hope not. So we have a thousand cases here in Sweden then. Okay, I'm gonna say we have at least 10,000 cases of Corona. But again, we aren't testing people anymore. We gave up on that, so. Um, so the numbers doesn't mean anything, at least not to me anymore. Gotta wonder where the uh, number of dead is gonna 
and but fortunately not like it's fortunate in any way but you know what I mean it's almost only people with underlying diseases and and older people as well who actually dies from this thing And many of them could have died from the regular flu anyway. Yeah, this is... <laughs> the coronavirus is good for my business. <laughs> Trust me, I'd rather have zero viewers <laughs> and no corona. Um, <laughs> but I, I'm willing to admit that I wasn't really planning on streaming today had, if it hadn't been for the coronavirus. You want me to stop Bang on, Or at least uh, change the... Um, Let's see, do I dare do this? Uh, there we go. Happy Bengan! Yeah, Netflix and YouTubers are um, <laughs> seeing a bump in the number of views. Wait, what? Welcome, Arias. You're sick of SCS. How can you possibly be sick of SCS? Oh, that's great! So in <laughs> 430 years then, instead of 435. You have two hours in a stream that only lasted for 49 minutes? Well, you really wanted to see this happen, didn't you? <laughs> Hi, Alex! I think the Rotaceae is actually unicorn. They are beautiful, but they do not exist. Thanos, this is the Oshkosh uh, HEMTT, and there is a link to it in the video description. And it does work on both ATS and ETS. I think this is the only truck mod I know that you'd only download one mod and it works on both ATS and ETS. <laughs> you and the courts are horses with strap ponds. I gotta change the uh, <laughs> rating on this. <laughs> stream <laughs> it better period it better Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I'm waiting myself, Tudor, unless Promos actually released something today. I I expect them to release something. Something has to happen today. EAA 5.4 or Promods 2.45. Um, something like that has got to happen today. So we have a lifetime of hauling to do on my global map combo. Well, the only thing you can say, Quentin, is why KSRSK is badly optimized. Seriously. <laughs> Ow! Well, why I'm not at work? Because it's uh, 6 p.m. in the afternoon here in Stockholm. And I'm working from home, by the way. You didn't see Plum's message, uh, period. It's in um, uh, early beta right now. So I don't think they're going to wait. Uh, remember when I was it when one thirty five came out? They released a version for 135 about a week before 136 uh, came out. Bad timing, but uh, they've done it before. This is just beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> You're going on a cruise, Toby? Well, let's not meet. This isn't a special transport hall. But I should probably just ignore traffic. But I'm a nice guy. I'm not gonna do that. Or maybe I am. This thing is actually a lot easier to haul than it looks. Uh, cables, Arias. 260 tons of uh, cables. Um, there we go. Or 573,000 um, pounds, I guess it is. Which is a lot. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, you don't have a pet anymore, Kib. <laughs> the pet is gonna be gone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a picture. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing weighs 260 tons so I think we are I'm still waiting for something that weighs in at 751 tons or more 
I'd really love to see something weighing um, 751 tons. The reason for that is, well, the world record for one truck is 750 ton. A record set by Volvo, by the way. Mac truck dealer discovered, they say, and that's a Kenworth dealer. <laughs> okay, that's a bug. No, I don't know where you've been, Alex, but I'm doing good, thank you. And the reason I'm using this truck is, as I said earlier, I need a uh, 8x8. Uh, I need as much grip as I can possibly find, so I figured this one has plenty of grip. Uh. Seriously, Arias, you can't go to Athens. Uh, will they even let you in? I guess they will. But <clears throat> you should probably stay at home. Yes, I do have force feedback on my steering wheels. I can definitely feel it every time that collision or whatever it is happens. I knew it was IRL. <laughs> oh, you've been the trucking with your dad? Well, good for you. Don't you have school? Even if school is... Wow! Even if school is closed, you need to do your homework. Uh, somewhere in between Gellerak, so I can definitely feel it. Um, and it twists my wrist, but it doesn't break it. But I can definitely feel it. <laughs> Lucky! We are, let's have a look again. We are now just north of Vinamuka. Shouldn't be a problem until we reach this area here. This is going to be a little bit exciting. Uh, on our way to Pendleton, of course. Um, so, another 400 miles. I wish it was just potholes. Uh, I'm not on the vanilla map. Well, I am, but I'm also using the Sierra Nevada mod. So, this is Sierra Nevada. Highly recommend this one. Very, very beautiful. I just wish they had done it in another part of of the states. Started working on something east of the DLCs instead of in the middle of the DLCs. So just Vinamook. Yeah, fortunately, it's going to be free of charge pretty soon, I hope. Uh, they did the same thing with uh, Mexico Extremo uh, when that was in beta. They charged for the beta version, and once it was out of beta, it was free of charge. Thank you, Alexei. A very kind of you. And welcome.
I'm really looking forward to a double trailer version of this thing. That's gonna be fun. Or a road train, perhaps. Hexa trailers, 1500 tons. By the way, the three mercs behind me there, they just there to look good. They don't actually help in any way, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> well, <I'd laughs> if someone can actually make a hex out of this thing, I would definitely try hauling it. Not really sure I would be able to do it with this truck though, but um, i definitely try. Ah! I can't keep up with all the text messages, Alex. I have a um, trailer to keep my eye on as well. Two hundred and forty tons convoy. Speaking of convoys, by the way, those of you who are members of my Discord server will already know that we have made some minor changes to the route for the convoy on Sunday. It's even more challenging now. So uh, again, I strongly recommended to bring a single trailer to the convoy um, because it's it's gonna be. Um, it's gonna be very challenging. Ow! Ow! Uh, Thanos, this stream is gonna be on uh, for another I don't know 346 miles whatever that takes to complete uh, from the looks of it we're up to probably somewhere around another three hours or so uh, yes I'm using 54 I think it is I'm learning slowly <laughs> it's it's definitely less but um, with more weight added <laughs> Thank God we can just haul right through those power lines. I hate being electrocuted. No, the trucks at the back doesn't make any difference. They don't make it um, heavier, but they also uh, don't push anything. But it do make the haul longer, so um, I'm sticking with them, all three of them. You can choose yourself if you want to use one, two or three of them. And of course I'm going to use three. Uh, because it makes the thing look even more insane, so... Uh, 
I just wish someone could um, make some of the other Oshkosh trucks as well. I, I find all the Oshkosh uh, trucks to be just beautiful. And this one could make do a um, do with a remake because this one is from ATS 1.6 or ATS 2 127, so it's pretty old. You're green, Olaf, because you are a paying member of my um, YouTube channel and. I salute you, th sir. Thank you very much for being that. Unless you're talking about green IRL, of course, then it's something else. And I strongly suggest to go to the doctor if you actually green thank you Olaf welcome Constantin <laughs> what Corona is a noob stop for refueling soon I think got plenty of gas but I can't just pick any random uh, gas station You've never been on Southern Region, Quentin. It's about goddamn time you get onto that map mod. It's a fantastic map mod, which will be so much better when Sergei has is done with it. Ow! See you later, Thanos. Thank you for being there. Uh, Blem, I'm just going to ignore that. My daughter is coming home, period. Uh, Asher, I think it's a... Um oh, thank God. I think it's a conflict between the um, uh, Oshkosh truck, the wheels to be specific, the height, uh, uh, height of the wheels and the trailer that causes those uh, crashes. I haven't seen that with any other trucks, so I, I'm pretty sure it's the wheels. You in Australia, Arias? Your thumb is upside down. Um. I'm not sure, double. Can't really say. You tested negative Tudor? Good for you. No, Asher, 
I said last week that I had my kids when you asked if I was gonna stream that week. Um, <laughs> keep your week straight, dude. <laughs> so this is my um, child-free week. So I'm streaming again. And I'm probably going to be streaming every day this week, just because I can. Yeah, oh, this is where I'm supposed to stop and refuel. This is perfect. Like, actually really perfect. There we go. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. Absolutely beautiful. Uh Seriously? No, 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 Mr. Volvo driver, you do not. No, 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 no. I think that is a horrible idea, Alex. <laughs> So you want me to be busy on uh, the game, keeping an eye on the chat and talk to you at the same time. <laughs> Anders, welcome. We're not hitting anything. Stop doing that. Um, mercs are just dead weight. They don't actually do anything. So this is why I need a uh, 8x8. Had this been a 6x4 I would just be spinning my wheels here. Uh oh. I'm flooring it. I'm in first gear. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Don't give up on me now. Come on. I only have six gears on this thing. There are no option for uh, 18 speed or anything like that. It's just six gears. <laughs> So I'm going to sit with your voice in my ear, trying to haul at the same time, and nah. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Uh, I'd rather have Siri so I can pause her whenever I need to pause her in that case.
Rocco Place, 747, welcome. Uh, Martin, does that mean that you are using ATMX? Uh, there is currently uh, more buses than you want. Uh, there is a new version of ATMX coming out soon, uh, which will make those buses optional. Um, is what I've heard from uh, Jonathan, who makes the uh, ATMX mod. Ow! It's just beautiful. Magnificent trailer. Best trailers and road hunter. Let's see if this works. Maybe not. Wow, did I really calculate that so horribly? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's not something you ask another man. How heavy I am. I weigh 260 tons, actually. <laughs> See you later, Alex. Thank you for being there. I could, I really could go lose a few pounds. to do that Alex except they are not completely compatible uh, or at least they wasn't the last time I uh, tested Great America I have to be honest not tested 1.3 though so I might do that and see if it works this time I, I thought I did that uh, light type, but um, apparently I didn't. <laughs> or I did something wrong when I calculated. I'm not really good with math anyway, so uh, I probably miscalculated it. Uh, well, loading is one thing. Broken roads is an entirely different story, Alex. The next convoy, Rocco, is on Sunday, this very Sunday, in six days. We're gonna haul uh, around the entire Iceland, island of Iceland. Um, so that's happening on, on Sunday. There is a link to the event in the video description, by the way. So if you haven't signed up already, do it now. Hi, Extremer. How you doing? 
And what is the side project you're working on? I hear Road to Asia is being delayed because of your side projects. <laughs> oh, hang on. I'm gonna focus a little bit here. There we go. Excellent, Rocco. Looks forward. Look forward to having you there with us. <laughs> Are you really working on Ludmilla Extreme, or I wish you the best of luck? Just so you know, she's a horrible, horrible, horrible person. But. Um, Feel free to do whatever you want. I'm not jealous. <laughs> I can actually kind of hear her in my head. Oh, Extreme, you are very, very hard. Mm. You're very hard, Extreme. Mm. Uh, Dark D92, this is uh, the base map, all the map DLCs, and um, Sierra Nevada. And that's it. So everything you don't recognize here is Sierra Nevada. This, for instance. Ow! 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 Yeah, Sierra Nevada is actually very, very good. I really love hauling on this map. <laughs> Welcome, Timu. That was a horrible angle. Ow! Stop doing that! Well, yeah. Um, as long as you complete it by... What was it? 24.50? I wanna play on this map before I die. Uh, there is a link to a video with all the information about the convoy Rocco. Hi MRT, welcome! They put you in, in um, on quarantine, MRT. We will. I hope you're not actually sick. I hope you're just only in quarantine. You're quite the optimist today, Arias. Quarantine is good. <laughs> no, not there. Next. So, let's see if we can make it this time then, without hitting the pole.
That was actually horrible. That was stupid, but okay. Should work anyway, hopefully. No, it's not. God, I really messed that one up. I should have stayed with the inside camera. Why the hell did I want to impress for? That was totally unnecessary. And I will probably not make it. Oh, fantastic. Right! Uh, <laughs> I will not teleport unless I have to. And I'm still moving. So, uh, while we're moving, uh, Surav, we are on the um, Sierra Nevada map mod. We're still moving. Not really sure we're actually gonna move for much longer. And I probably shouldn't have brought the trailers. Sorry, the trucks. Uh, yes, there is trucker friendly. There is a unlimited setting you can use. I'm barely touching the gas pedal. That that's why it feels very exciting. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Ha! No teleports. <laughs> Ow. Uh, no, it's not in the config file, uh, Trucker. It's in um, in the shortcut for um, for the game. If you take a look at Benyan's uh, NPI settings page on rowextended.ro, the forum page, you have it there. Thanos, I don't think this truck is capable of doing 100 kilometers an hour. Uh, and besides, uh, I really don't want to go any faster than 50. Hi Rob, welcome. I'm gonna hit that bridge so hard for better and for worse yeah it's just gonna slice right through it uh, no trucker it didn't crash because the um, game.log file was full that's not how it works. <laughs> uh, Patrico, I did. And the link is in the video description for my uh, two latest map combos. Why is people having why is people having so such a hard time? finding things in the video description because you're not the first one asking uh, Patrico for any of the links uh, number of wheels we have is number of wheels uh, axles uh, I think we have 22 26 axles plus the push trucks
Matt P, of course, you are more than welcome to join the convoy on uh, on Sunday. Please join us. The more the merrier. The number of wheels is, well, it's 21, so 84 wheels on the trailer. And then, do I have doubles on... No, those are singles. So I think it's... 21 axles on the trailer and uh, four wheels per axle <laughs> I wish I was a trucker's MP with this thing that would be awesome now this is single player but we are doing trucker's MP on uh, Sunday <laughs> 47 wheels right Well, I could have blown a couple, so I guess that's possible as well. And the steering wheel. really can't use the outside uh, view to drive. I'm really horrible at that. The road Thanos, uh, we're going all around um, Iceland. It's some um, 3000 kilometers plus change and um, we are doing a couple of detours to make sure that we use the most difficult roads as well. Hi, Kalia! Ow! Welcome to my Oshkosh. And this thing. This beauty. Oh, we're going to take the crazy roads, uh, Thanos, on um, on the during the convoy. It's an Oskosh, it still works. <laughs> so, since we are going to do the uh, crazy roads on Iceland, I strongly suggest you bring a single trailer. I just wish the guys behind this one, this map, could um, do a remake of Coast to Coast. Robago is asking me something. Is Rosma worth buying? Uh, ow! Um, honestly, um, Rob, if you're buying Rosmap, it's because you want to support the um, map creator. Uh, so if it's worth it, well, if you think it's worth supporting the map creator, then yes. Uh, you should definitely take the forest roads, Quentin, if you're still on uh, southern region. Definitely do the uh, forest roads. You're definitely gonna need a 6x4 uh, on, um, on Iceland. Do not bring a 6x2 or 4x2. It's not gonna work.
Uh, no, honestly, Rob, I didn't buy Rosmap. Uh, now I feel ashamed. 8x4 is also fine, Thanos. Ah, oh, it's only six gears on this thing, so it's either very high revs on fir in first gear or very low in second gear. <laughs> Let's see if this works, second gear. Well, I am a little bit ashamed of it because I've, I'm really in favor of supporting all the map creators, so I, I should have bought it. <laughs> if you're able to bring a 10 by 10 to uh, Truckers MP, go ahead, do it. Uh, Dova, honestly, yes, I think it is, because if you get stuck and are able to lift some axles, you have some options, and that might help you um, get unstuck. Uh, what map website I got the... Uh, um, Rustmap from? Well, there are only two sites I use for Rustmap. It's Row Extended Forum and uh, TruckSim.club, which is the official website for uh, for Rustmap. But we get a ton of inside information to Rustmap as well on on RowExtended.ro and the forum site there. The truck I'm using Asher is the Oshkosh, H-E-M-T-T. And there's a link to it in the video description. Galarak, it's actually... I'm almost gonna say easy using this truck. But it's not like this truck is uh, completely bug free. If you look at... Oh, no, now it started working again. The inside mirror I have there that works by magic. It freezes sometimes, now it froze again. And now it works, and there it froze. So it's it's not like this truck is bug free in any way. Uh, but it's very interesting because it's the only truck that I know of that actually works by downloading the one mod that works on both ATS and ETS2. I can't think of any other truck mods that actually do that. And of course, since it's also very very old. There is an additional fix, and you need to add the fix as well on top of the Oshkosh uh, on both ATS and ETS2. There is a link in the video description, Robego! You people need to start looking at my video descriptions! <laughs> Hi, Lucky Smokey! I'm um, knock on wood, still doing good. Thank you. How are you doing? And it's time to find somewhere to stop for a night as well. The sun is going down. You're in Canada? Well, then you're in... Our customer expects delivery very soon. Make sure you arrive on time. Let's see. We have uh, 124 miles to go. And we're expected to be there in one hour. That's not going to happen. It's okay, Rob. <laughs> I'm not gonna care that much about time. I didn't expect to arrive on time anyway. Not with this thing. So 
So I think I'm gonna do the uh, time trick instead and just change the time to uh, 5 or 6 a.m. Very soon at least. Ow! Yeah, it's the same everywhere, I think. Toilet paper is out everywhere for some strange reason. But I guess it's true what they say. Lots of people are just full of shit. So, um... Let's see, I'm gonna change the time now to uh, 5 a.m. There we go. So now we are very late. Uh, changing time like I did now. Uh, yeah. That uh, added another, what was it, 10 hours in this case, 11 hours maybe, 9 hours, I can't remember what the time originally was, but yeah, that adds another 8 hours or so to my delivery. So to anyone who just joined us, uh, the um, crashes you hear or see even from time to time are not actual crashes. It's probably a conflict of sorts between the uh, large wheels on my Oshkosh and the trailer mod. Ow! Um, it's not like I'm actually crashing into things. Not every time, at least. Ow! Let's prove that by... Again. Or maybe not right now. Yeah, well, the FPS on this thing, I mean, the, the truck is seriously old. And if you look at the, well, the look... Oh, hang on. Um, if I go outside, the FPS is back up to 60 again, and then inside it's down to... Yeah, 50 right now. So, um, it's an old truck mod. Rocco, uh, sure, it is possible. To create a one-to-one -one scale map, anything is possible. Uh, but will it actually ever happen? Mm, don't think so. Um, unless someone decides to dedicate 10 years of their lives to actually doing it. And it needs to be a team, even, to do it. Um, it's an incredibly huge task to complete. I don't even think a GTX 2090 or 3080 Ti will help. Um. Ow!
So actually, we started two hours ago, and we're gonna have this one completed in maybe 30 minutes, which is way faster than I thought it would be. I'm not surprised they're gonna release the 3000 range. Uh, this one has been out for more than a year now, so it's probably about time. Not that I really see why I would need it. I'm pretty happy with my 2080 Ti. Yeah, well, the only good thing about a uh, 3000 series is that the 2080 Ti will be somewhat cheaper than it is now. <laughs> a Chinese walked in a circle around you? No! <laughs> oh! God, not the way station, please. Seriously. Can't afford a ticket either, so I better pull in. Well, at least this one was a relatively easy one. Get out of my way. Well, move on then. £726,768. No way. I didn't plan that, did I? Oh well, sometimes you get lucky. Let's <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> uh, see what we have here. Is it possible to go straight here? Because that looks more interesting, I think. No, of course not. There's that. Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that, Olaf. totally want to do the viewpoint and take a couple of pictures of this thing but on the other hand uh, never mind that <clears throat> Ow. 
Ow. Welcome, Hervey. And you'll have to excuse me for a little bit. See, we're not hitting anything, but still. It acts like if we were crashing. Whoa! Oh, that was a close one. What is this? Oh. Has anyone tested one of these runaway ramps? Do they work? Show me your trailer now, that's what she said. Ow. Um, <laughs> where is the most famous um, forest um, down in the south um, I can't remember the names of any of the cities close to that forest and even if I did I would probably not be able to pronounce the names of them anyway so um, ask someone else Ow! Yeah, I know you head up there, but I was, I was asking, do they work in-game? It's the most beautiful thing ever, this trailer. God, I really look forward to the next version. Ow! Oh, God, it's Galarac. There's just too much going on at the same time here. Sorry about that. Yes, it's the Oshkosh, and there is a link to it and the fix required in the uh, video description. Ow! Imagine trying to driving it like this. <laughs> ah, it's scary. <laughs> It's, it's probably not gonna do your your Intel graphics any good, Quentin. There are places where even a RTX 2080 Ti doesn't really uh, cope with it. Uh, Rob, uh, truck uh, sim dot club, or you can simply download it from uh, rowextender.ro the forum. Or just take a look at my uh, video description for my two last uh, map combos. It's there as well.
Oh no, you don't give up now. Come on. God damn it. Come on. Come on, we can do this. Come on. There will be no teleporting here. Come on. Come on, come on. How bad is it? How bad is it? It's not that bad. Except for that poor sign there, of course, but... Come on, come on, come on. You can do this. No, no, no. We're gonna do this. All is well, Toby. All is well. I'm deliberately hauling very slowly just to make sure that I don't touch anything. Like really, really slowly. Jesus Christ, this is gonna take forever. Come on. No, Quentin, it's the same one. Uh, no, I don't have triple tr screens, it's just a uh, single screen. Uh, come on. Don't give up on me, come on. There we go. There we go. Yes, 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 baby. Oops. And that one as well. Because, yeah, why not? <laughs> but I didn't have to teleport. <laughs> I didn't have to teleport. I'm happy. <laughs> ah, the signs had it coming. I'm not using the Toby when I'm holding something like this. I need to be able to watch the road in front of me and keep an eye on the mirror at the same time. So, um... No, I'm not using Toby here. I use Toby on Dalton, uh, but not here. Ow, 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 God damn it. So next time I use the Oshkosh, I think I might use some different tires than the ones I'm using now. The defaults. I think I might change those to something smaller like 15 inch or something like that. Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that's where we're heading. No. For f seriously, we're going in here. Oh man, this is going to be um interesting. Oh man. Ah oh, shit, there's a fence there as well. I might not make this actually. It might be a bit. Wow. Why am I? 
not able to back it up a bit. There we go. Good girl. There's no way in hell this is gonna work. See, that's not gonna work at all. Um, I don't think there's any way I can make this work. flooring it but that's not gonna do it no because ah. mm. so yeah that's gonna be a teleport there um, there's nothing I can do about that but let's see if we can make it around this one then Open the doors! Thank you! Do not close the gate, please! Would maybe have worked without the fences, yes, but the goddamn faces is ruining everything. Come on. Silver. Ah. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to do this again with those horrible wheels on the trailer. They're pretty good, but still. And I don't think I'm going to be able to actually park this thing, considering <laughs> what we have in front of us there. Wasn't I supposed to... Um, there we go. I think I'm just gonna go with... Uh, sorry, I'm in, a, I'm in a hurry. Um, because... That won't work. I'm just gonna drop it. There we go. Oh, I'm late. I do apologize. Still? Almost a million dollars. So there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. It's totally doable hauling a 260 ton trailer across some parts of uh, the United States using an Oshkosh with a thousand horsepower and a six speed transmission. Uh, link to the Oshkosh and the trailer is, of course, found in the video description. Now you download it, try it for yourself. You're gonna love it. Uh, just don't use those wheels on the Oshkosh. Um, so we're done for the day. I'm gonna do another stream tomorrow. And I hope to see you again then. Probably gonna be at 5 p.m. CET, Central European time. Could be at 6 p.m. as well. Depends on what I find. And... <laughs> <laughs> dislike and unsubscribe <laughs> uh, guys take care stay safe wash your hands for at least 20 seconds every time you do it which you do on a regular basis and keep at least 10 meters between you and everyone else and you should be fine till next time take care guys bye bye